Hakuna watu wako karibu. Mimi tu. Watu wako karibu ni Patricia. Yes I am. Round 26 of the Sport Pesa Premier League. Tusker FC and Gormaya at the Kenyatta Stadium in Machakos. And while the first leg fixture was talked about not in very good terms, especially by the coach of the Tusker FC side, it was time to play to find out who the winner would be and who would take the three points off this match on a very good day, very good weather very calm weather at the Kenyatta Stadium in Machakos. The bulk of the fans were obviously the Gormaya fans, but the Lion, Robert Matano, never moved by that, put his charges onto the field for this game. In a very, very technical, tactical game played in the first half, Gormaya right on the onset, trying to get very early goals, Tusker FC as well, and controlling the midfield very, very well. The Tusker FC side, had the use of Jackson Mashari in the midfield and we really had some very good moves. But Tuisenga's very early shot to Mboya was very easily blocked. Gormaya would go ahead to use that right flank for most of the attacks that they were bringing into the Tusker FC side. But this very first attack was easily cut off by Robert Mboya. As play resumed, of course, Tusker FC side took control of the midfield. Gormaya were using only the chances they were getting. Kirui, one of the men on the Gormaya side, then gets the ball into the midfield for Onyango. He puts it out. And uh, then uh, in uh, the string of about 10 touches, Gormaya doesn't lose the ball. Miguna races with it down on the flanks to Isenge, puts himself in a very, very acute situation, but manages to deflect the ball into the net and to set the Gormaya fans dancing and singing on the stands for the first goal of the game in the 16th minute. Well, Mboya would uh, want to appeal, but uh, there would be nothing to appeal for because he's got his own defenders there as well. And uh, Tuisenga sneaks in between the goalkeeper and the defender to pump the ball home from a very acute angle. Gormaya continued with the onslaught, the corner coming in and falling back into the hands of uh, the strikers. They would have the chances. Onyango unable to convert this one as Mboya puts his body on the line and sends the ball out of the area. But Onyango would look visibly agitated that he didn't score this one, although he had been put on by Jackson Masharia. And with Onimboya to beat, he looked like a man on a mission to try and force a goal at some point. The Tusker FC side took over the midfield. Kambaya would still just use the chances that they get. Miguna again, who was very key in this game today, leaving to Senge on the side. And then bringing in a ball that Onyango tried on the first to put in the net and then recovers quickly on the second touch to give Gol Gormaya another goal in the 31st minute. It's a quick recovery after the rebound came from Boya that helps Onyango to get onto the score sheet. Didn't lose the composure, didn't lose the move and was still in the rhythm as he puts the ball back into the net for Gormaya to win it. Two goals to nil at the Kenyatta Stadium in Machakos. Well, Hassan Oktay would get very animated, of course, uh, in uh, some of the decisions that were being made in the game. But for Shaban Odoji, it was a game in which he would have liked to keep a very clean sheet. And even at the full, the Gormaya side looked dominant. Second half and Tasca still played better as well. This one not given to Timothy Otieno. The reason not very clear as well. It's offside, says the assistant referee. But a second look at it would say that from where the ball is being taken, Joash actually puts Timothy Otieno onside and that would have counted for an legitimate goal for uh, the Tasca FC side. But the flag was up for offside and so it didn't count. Timothy, one of the men who was relied on up front by the Gorbaya side. Himself a former player of Gorbaya. A tasker again go on to their onslaught. This one, Timothy pumps way over the bar from one that he should have just, you know, touched back into the goal area. After the first shot that came in from Clyde Senaji. The second touch by Timothy Otieno was not good enough to get Tasker 
even a consolation goal in this game. But Odoji obviously managing to stretch to stop the very first shot. And then covering the distance to deny Timothy Otieno a chance. Gormaya would later on get good chances up front after Twisenge tried to place the ball to Kirui. Then it was blocked by Eugenia Sike, who stretched himself to the maximum, injuring himself in the process of clearing that ball. But Twisenge had turned a provider. Ford Gorbaya today not playing more as a central striker, but as a striker veering off sometimes on the right side and sometimes on the left side and turning provider. In this instance, it's Eugene's boot that stops Twisenge's ball going to Kirui with uh, Boya already down, expecting to go for it. But the side would themselves have uh, a loss and blame themselves for that miss as uh, Sidney Ching just doesn't get to the end of this very nice ball that just needed the slightest of deflections into the net to count for a goal. But at the full time, it's Gormaya that take all the three points, having employed Hashim Sempalo as well. So, Gormaya 2 and Tusker FC nil at the Kenyatta Stadium in Machakos.